You guys remember how yesterday's video was on the gem mine because I accidentally clicked unlock on it? Well, today's video is about the clock tower because I accidentally clicked unlock on it. What is up guys, Mystic7 here, back on some Clash of Clans grind. This is video, maybe either number two today, or I decided to upload this tomorrow. I don't know when this video is being uploaded, but I'm recording it same day as the one I recorded previously. Whatever, moral of the story is we're back on some Clash. We're at 975 trophies. We are almost past the 1,000 trophy mark at Builders Hall level four, which isn't super duper crazy impressive, but it's definitely not bad. And I'm definitely aiming to go maybe around to 12 to 1,500 before Builders Hall level five. And again, we will be spending around 100-ish dollars in today's video, and there's a link in the description if you guys want to check out some free gem stuff or you can unlock and max out your gem collector and get ballpark you know below a thousand gems a year which is better than you can do anywhere else no seriously does you guys want some gems link in the description but we got 14,025 gems which is fan freaking tastic we're at 26 minutes left on our clock tower so we might as well just fix this guy up right now oh but first i know what we're doing we're maxing out our troops hold on before we do anything let's you know what? Let's max some of these suckers out. I use baby dragons a ton, so getting them over to max is going to be pretty big. And I think the main focus of today's video is going to definitely be, obviously, the clock tower is the main focus, but getting all of our troops to max level and doing some awesome attacks and then getting our base almost completely maxed out for Builders Hall level 4. And then next video, we'll be going to 5 and then locking this guy over here, the battle machine. But for today, we're getting the clock tower, and we're actually going to do that. Should we take out the grove? No, but I want these small troops. Oh, gosh. Well, there's the clock tower. Oops, I forgot you could do that. All right, the clock towers. I'm an idiot. Clock towers in the base. We did get an achievement. Hidden treasures. Re rebuild the clock tower. That is 200 XP and 30 gems. We'll take that. We use 30 gems pretty much to unlock the clock tower, so it's nice getting that back. We do get a five-minute free boost. Uh, and actually, I can use that right now and show you guys what it's like. This is not a good base, by the way. I would <laughs> not recommend using it. But the clock tower, we're going to definitely upgrade it to max, or at least the max level we can get at Builders Hall level 4 today, but I'm debating using this uh, little boost here. You know what? No, we're going to straight up upgrade it. All right, here we go. Make boost last three minutes longer. So we go five minutes all the way to eight minutes right off the bat, which is just splendid. And no, you know what? You do get an eight-minute free boost. So if you upgrade it, you keep those boosts going. And then now going over 220,000 gold with a four-hour upgrade to level going to level three and that's gonna be 108 gems to finish off so level three and three two one bam there we go can we upgrade it obviously we can upgrade to level four but can we do it at builders hall level four please let me yes 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 give me some gold awesome so ice we can get this guy going over to level four dope and then we can finish him in three two one BAM! Level 4 Clock Tower! Sweet, and I'm assuming we can upgrade one more time, but that has to be Builder's Hall Level 5. Yes, Builder Hall 5, we can get a Level 5 Clock Tower. I am A-OK -okay with a Level 4. So now here's what the Clock Tower does in Clash of Clans. Basically, it just boosts up everything. The Clock Tower makes things happen faster in your village. Collect resources, train, research, and build faster. Example, we'll do a 12-minute free boost right now. You get one free boost every 8 hours, which is pretty good, and it lasts for 12 minutes. So if you boost up, obviously, as you can see, everything is just completely sped up. Even these guys are running around. These guys are going crazy. It speeds everything up. And we're going to take advantage of that. Actually, here, we'll throw something in the research. Let's go in here. We're going to fill up our elixir, and then we'll get the baby dragons going down one more time. And look at that. <laughs> look how fast that goes. That goes crazy. We might as well do some attacks while this thing is just boosted up, and we have our troops roaring and ready to go. So let's go. We're going to shoot for 1,000 trophies this video. I mean, we're going to get it. We're only 25 away, but we, we might fail. This is a make-or-break raid right now against Petit. <laughs> Pizit Juane. All right, Pizit. Ooh, this is a pretty... Honestly, it's a pretty cool base. Uh, I got a lot of respect for this, but it's... You know, this is going to be pretty tough to take out. I'm saying just giants uh, and barbarians to go in on this base. I Because the um, this thing's not up. Uh, there's going to be a lot of traps up here. But at, the, at this bottom level, I'm saying we probably can sneak in and grab this. Uh, let me drop some giants just to make sure there's no traps. Yeah, see, there are the traps. All right. Now we're going to go 10, 10 barbs in raw. Eh? Get some more giants going, and then 10 bobs in right there, eh. and then hopefully we can go in. The, the mortar is going to be the biggest problem. That's going to hurt the most, uh, but if we can get in and knock this thing out, then we should be A-OK. -okay. Come on, barbs. Come on, barbs. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, these all died. All the barbs up top died, uh, but we got barbarians in the middle. We got our giants going as well. Now, hopefully some of our giants can get ahead of the barbarians so they can get on this town hall and do some damage because the Tesla and the Archer Tower are both going to town on our barbs. Please don't kill them. Oh, they killed them all. All right. Well, that's going to be that. Okay. We got 56%. So we got the one star, which is cool. Uh, not getting... We're going to barely miss that two star because 
Oh my gosh, the uh, the defense has just murdered all of our barbarians before they went after the giants. So rest in peace to us. That's 60... <laughs> 69% on this base right here. Awesome. Did this guy beat? Did Pete hit? Pete Tat beat 69%. No. Nice. 35 cups. That's 1,010 trophies. Boom. Yes. Woo. That's 1,000. We did it. We broke 1,000 trophies in uh, the builder's mode of Clash of Clans. This guy got a whopping 27 percent p tit okay maybe this base is pretty good i don't know sometimes i'll get three starred and sometimes this yeah just stuff like this will happen uh baby dragon in okay so they went air he went pretty heavy air well focus too much on the baby dragon push uh that was i don't know i have no words for that attack that was kind of silly <laughs> well, no matter we got a thousand and ten which is dope Ooh, and by the way it speeds up the gems yeah i see i see those gems pumping over there just look how crazy the troops are going all right let's keep going let's get some more attacks in guys we got to get the cups up and then we will go back after this attack we'll go back and do more upgrades in the base because we still have like ten thousand gems to use okay this one looks a little bit trickier um kind of debating on how i want to you know what i know exactly how i want to take this out we're gonna go we got three giants we're gonna use archers, and then we're gonna use instead of barbs, uh, ooh, baby dragons or minions. I think baby, we're gonna go baby dragons, and then this is how we're gonna take this base out. I need to go from this side because we definitely need to take out the um, all this stuff right here. And actually, you know what? If we go, I don't even need to use the baby dragons. If we go, I think more giants, we can definitely, yeah, we'll we'll destroy this base. Watch this. We go three giants here. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, I used that strategy before you little little trap. All right, and then a giant right there, and then we'll go some barbs, and then we'll get the other giants in right here. Okay, so these barbs are going on the outside. They should be able to clean stuff up. And then now we've got barbarians going towards the inside, and then we'll get some archers following as well. So, this should be a three-star. Oh, I should have saved barbs because of this thing right here. Oh, no. No, no, no. Never mind. It's not going to be a three-star. We're going to get through a lot of this, but that's going to kill us. Oh, I suck. Well, we went from a definite three star over to a possible high two star. Uh, the giants definitely are doing work right now, but when they have two alive, they're both pretty much dead, and there's a double cannon and a single cannon, and our archers are not aiming at either of them. Come on, guys, gals. Focus up here. I need you to clutch. Well, 70%. We got, Come on. Maybe. 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 Oh, yes. 74%. Dope. I'll take that. Okay, we got 74% two-star on this guy. Uh, if I would have saved some barbarians, we definitely would have had that three, which sucks. But we won. Either way, we won. That's 29 cups up. I am Pathos. What happened here, dude? Okay, let's see Pathos going in against us. Um, I'm seeing... Yeah, some... I, yeah, this base, I, I guess. Again, I guess this base is good. I'm not exactly sure, though. I don't have a ton of faith in this base being spectacular, but it wins quite a bit. Okay, we got 10,000 gems. Let's put them to work here. I, I just want to I want to keep going out and battling while this boost is going, dude. This is awesome. We'll do a little bit of upgrades, and then we'll go out and battle. Let me get these uh, baby dragons going up. We can probably max out. You know what? We're going to max out our troops. That's going to be the focus of right now is getting all of our troops completely maxed out. So we got level 6. Can we go higher? Oh, my gosh. We can get level 7 baby dragons right now. Let's freaking do this, boys. Level 7 baby dragons in Mystic 7 baby dragons. 3, 2, one bam there we go that should be max we can go higher wait what oh as in they're going down to level seven then now we're gonna get level seven three two one bam that should be it no way we can go to eight we can go to eight hold on hold on let me get my minions going up too because i don't want to neglect the minions i use minions quite a bit uh as well as baby dragons so we're getting level what are these level five minions in three two one bam there we go level five and then let's keep it going give me that elixir yes and then level six minions in three two one bam nice oh wait now three two one bam nice okay let me work on some defenses we've got the troops all just crazy leveled up let's get the defenses going as well i still have not seen one gem pump out of here yet okay tesla's gonna be upgraded to max right now we're maxing out the tesla let's fill up the gold go over here get the tesla going down oh my gosh dude the troops everything's just going crazy this is not the clock tower this is the cocaine tower look, look at the builder he's on another world right now bro all right we got level four tesla can we go again no we cannot so level four tesla maxed out uh, for builders hall level four awesome and then what else can we upgrade we can do that can we do the laboratory we cannot cannons i'm pretty sure we have maxed out our crushers oh crusher definitely definitely maxing out the crusher right here all right crusher level three going over level four and three two one bam level four Cru bam level four crusher i keep doing that awesome and then that i'm assuming yeah crusher to level five you can only get at builders hall level five which makes perfect sense now that's maxed out is our air defense maxed out no firecrackers 
get the firecrackers going up. All right, firecracker going over to level five, actually, or level four in three, two, one, bam. There it is, level four firecracker, and then cannot upgrade until town hall or builder's hall level five. Awesome. Okay, let's go out and do some more attacks because we do have uh, not even, we don't even have max. We can go all the way to level 8. That's crazy. I definitely do want to use the uh, baby dragons now, though, because we have them at level 7, which is really, really high for the baby dragons. And is this a baby dragon base? Oh, it is. It is, boys. Watch this. I'm not even going to worry about getting this uh, this 3-star. Uh, I'm just going to go baby dragons. I'm going to go baby dragons. There, we got level 7 baby dragons. And actually, you know what? The question is, do we use giants or barbarians? Um, I'm saying probably the giants are gonna last longer, uh, and they're gonna they're gonna tank longer. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna do one baby dragon here and then one there, just because we want those free percentage points, and then we'll drop one right here. Now here we go. We're gonna go three giants in, and then we're gonna start spreading out these baby dragons. Uh, the focus, the big focus, is gonna be getting to this archer tower. That's gonna be what we really really need to take out, and it is focused on. The, oh, come on, baby dragon. No, no, go the other way. No, well, we're going to have issues if the baby dragons don't go and get this archer tower because then the town hall or builder's hall is not going to go down. And they're now unraged because they're squatting up. So hopefully we get them over here. Dude, okay, I need, I need to work on my troop placement because I'm getting wrecked right now. The baby dragons are going to go this way and then they're going to get shot down by the archer tower and they're not going to take out the builder's hall. Oh, no, and the archer tower is hella damaged too. Oh, we should. This one we shouldn't win. I'm saying we lose this one because he's probably going to wreck our base. Uh, we should have enraged. Yeah, they're going to be enraged, but they're going to go down pretty quickly there. Uh, rest in peace, baby dragons. I definitely noticed the difference, though, between level whatever. Like, we had level three or four baby dragons, and then now we're at level four or seven. My bad. Uh, so they're definitely a lot better, and yeah, we did lose. Okay, you got a 70% two star right there. GG. We have two minutes left on our boost. Let's go and do a little bit more upgrading on the uh on the troop side actually i want to max these out what is max for the baby dragons at builders hall level four is it level eight we'll find out in three two one Bip, sniper yeah okay level eight baby dragons are the max you can get at uh b4 oh they look sick too dude look at them with the orange okay that looks dope definitely let's go out and do an attack with these guys i really want to see what these look like in battle okay is this one we can use them on um if we overwhelm this side it's a possibility or we can try to overwhelm this side. We're going to go all baby dragons and see how this goes. I'm going to attempt it. Okay, all baby dragons. Drop in one there for percentage. Uh, and then the rest are going to kind of just be sprinkled in on this side. Here, okay, here we go. Okay, baby dragons going in. I'm going to kind of spread them out so they've got their rage. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. That's a lie. I'm going to just drop them in right here. Okay, baby dragons in right now, boys. Let's see how far can we get in this base using all level 8 Baby dragons. Level 8 definitely being a really, really, really high level for him, uh, especially at Builder's Hall 4. Now, the question is, will they go in and get this freaking Archer Tower? Please, take it out. Oh, gosh. See, now we got the air defense shooting, and we got the Archer Tower shooting. There's a Tesla over here. I don't think we're going to get too far in this base. Uh, we actually might get the Builder's Hall. That would be clutch. Although, we're going to have, I think, three or four defenses shooting at us by the time we get there. Yeah, dude, those, those mines are going to do work on us. Oh, gosh. And, yeah... Definitely not going to get the Builder's Hall. We will get that one star, though, which is solid. But the uh, hall itself, not going to go down. Very close. If this baby dragon swung in and shot the Town Hall or the, the Builder's Hall, we probably would have had it. But rest in peace us right there. Okay, that was an all level 8 baby dragon raid. Not so successful. We'll probably lose that, too. I'm expecting a loss. Oh, we won? What? 35%? Okay. He used an all giant attack, which is definitely not the best to go. Oh! <gasps> Look, our first ever gem. Well, we found six gems in that trunk. That's impressive. Or in the tree. Awesome. So we, found, we got our first ever gem actually from the clock tower. Big shout out to the clock tower. And let's collect that. Let's do that. This is our first ever gem collector gem collecting in three, two, one. Boom. There we go. We got a gem. Hey. <laughs> awesome. And we can't upgrade that until... Uh, Builders Hall 5, which I'm totally cool with. Okay, let's work on maxing the rest of our defenses out because we've got uh, a little bit of gems. We've got enough to do it. We'll get this mine over to level 3. We can actually, yeah, we can do a level 4 mine, which is awesome. Can we do level 5? No, we gotta wait. Level 4 mine there, level 4 mine there, and then this mine we can get going over to level 4 as well. Cool, okay, we got the mines maxed out. Let's max out the mega mine, which I actually need to move because it never gets hit there. It kind of just sits. And then the spring traps are great to have maxed. We have them maxed. Uh, the push traps are a fun one. That's a that's a good defense. Yeah, let's get these guys going up as well. Dope. Okay, more. I'll take it. More? No. Level 4 will be the max for these guys. So, we'll get that going over, and then that should be it. Level 4, and then we need a little bit more gold. I'm not going to completely max out. We'll get 
139 gems worth. And then we'll bring this trap over. Yeah, it only needs one upgrade over to level four. Dope. Okay, so now our base is 100% maxed out for Builders Hall 4 when it comes to defenses. We still have to max out the troops. We've got a couple more troops to max out, and obviously our walls are <laughs> lacking. Although, again, walls are not super important in this game. Question is, do we waste? Yeah, I might as well, like, up upgrade these guys. And then we'll get this collector going over to level 4 as well. Okay. Now I'm saying we use the remainder to upgrade our minions, because just the troops, the being, <laughs> being able to upgrade these guys so high at uh, Builders Hall 4 is awesome. So let's get these guys going down. 320,000 elixir for level 7 ones. We're gonna do that and then 499 gems to upgrade it to level 7. 3, 2, 1, bam! There we go. Level 7 minions, and I think we're going to call it at that because I do want to save a little bit of gems so I can go on the main base. Main base, by the way, looking pretty good. Still around 4,500. I have not done a lot of rating on it today, but I do still need some gems for this base so I can boost stuff up and uh, get high in the trophies. But right now, you know what? Actually, I'm saying we get one more upgrade going. You know what? Or should we do... Okay, let's do this. We're going to save the rest of the troop upgrades uh, for next video, and right now, let's go do one more attack, and then we're going to come back and actually upgrade some walls. I'm giving into the walls. All right, G Galowitz. Let's see this base. Uh, there's a crusher there. Ooh, this is a tough base, honestly. This is a pretty good one. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go from this side and I'm gonna go very giant barbarian heavy. So we're gonna do all 20 giants or 20 giants, 20 barbs, and then three or six giants. Uh, I'm kind of debating on where I want to attack. If we do archers, actually, we could probably take those two buildings out, and then the archers would be very, very very helpful. Yeah, we're gonna roll archers, actually. A lot of giants, and then a little bit of archers. Now, the question is, hold on, I'm gonna test this. Does the mortar see this archer? Will he shoot? Hold on, wait for it. Wait for it. Invisibility cloak is up. Is he gonna shoot? He is. You son of a gun. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Let me test for traps. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, there's traps here, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> gosh, man. Okay. Let's get some barbs coming in, and let's get moving towards this base. We really, really need to get in and grab this mortar. Once that mortar goes down, we're going to be A-OK -okay on this base. Uh, but until that happens, we are in a little bit of trouble. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stack over here, stack over there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing pretty good. We're moving towards the center right there. Uh, again, as long as we can grab that mortar, we're going to be G. Uh, oh, yeah, we for sure got this. Now, the problem that we're going to run into here is our giants are a little bit pushed back, and then the barbs are gonna get ran by all these defenses. Uh, boy, okay. Yeah, see, now the cannon's focusing on the archers and not the giant, and the archers are all gonna die. Although, we could get a little bit more percentage. Nice, that's a two-star right there. Dope, and then these two archers are gonna get rest in peace, and then that's gonna be all she wrote for that raid. But still, though, 55% two-star on this guy. S. Gallowitz. Now, let's see what he did against us. That's a win. We got 31 more cups right there at 1,076. We are actually, what, 18? How did you get 18%? Okay, so if you guys need a Builder's Hall level 4 base, this might be a good play right here. Let's see, 18%. He went Giants, Barbs up top and just got destroyed. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm going to fill up the gold for the last time, 665 gems, and then we're going to go in and upgrade as many walls as we possibly can. I think we can get all of this. We should be able to get, not all, but maybe most of this over... Uh, not most of it, just kidding. A little bit of the walls over to level 3. Walls are expensive in this game, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. So that's the progress on today's episode. Nice. We got the clock tower. We actually used that to get our first ever gem out of the gem mine, which was huge. And then we completely maxed out our baby dragons. We brought our minions over to level 7, and then we maxed out all of the defenses for Builders Hall 4 in this space, and then we got some uh, decently maxed out walls. Or leveled up, not maxed out. Awesome. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's Clash of Clans video. If you guys enjoyed this Clash Clans videos I want to see more on this channel and if you guys are enjoying this update make sure to leave a like leave a comment and I'll see you all in the next video love you guys peace out